what's up y'all welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in the airport so you know what that means travel trip life has been life and lately let me tell you i feel like i'm going through like a huge transitional state so of course my love language is travel my spirit's love language is travel the thing about me i'm gonna take a fucking trip i decided to take a trip to um new amsterdam i went to new amsterdam maybe like four or five years ago and when i went I don't know if it's because, you know, we has always been legal there and shroom, shrooms are legal, just like all the drugs are legal there. The energy in, in Amsterdam just made me feel extremely free. I felt like I could take off the suit of being a human and being a certain type of way to make everybody feel comfortable. I felt like I didn't need to put that on in Amsterdam and I felt extremely free and I was just like being myself and just enjoying myself like I really enjoyed myself in Amsterdam so since I'm going through this transitional phase of like stepping into a more authentic version of myself why not just fucking go to Amsterdam I booked a flight on standby and if you know what standby is that means you may or may not get on the flight it was looking really good when I booked it but now it's like an if so I'm really on some may or may not happen. But the good thing about it is that if I don't make that flight, I'll end up, um, I can book a flight somewhere else. I'm thinking about Puerto Rico because I've never been to Puerto Rico. Here's when you know that you're about to level up. When you ask for something, when you ask the universe for something, when you decide in yourself that, okay, this is what I want out of life. This is where I want to go in life. That's why they say be careful what you ask for because as soon as you ask for that, life is going to put you in experiences and situations that will make you adjust your energy to the vibration that will attract what you're asking for. Ever since then, life has been hitting me extremely hard, like pushing me to the test and making me adjust and change in the way that I asked for. I'm not gonna lie, that shit been rough. I moved through it though, I moved through it. And I feel like this trip is, my intention on this trip is to solidify that change, you know? So, Puerto Rico it is. I'm going to get my rental car, but it looks a little, a little dead and I don't see nobody coming down here. So I hope they open. You know, I've never been to Puerto Rico before or to an island that's owned by the United States. It was real convenient coming through the airport. They had to go through customs and no shit like that. I could go straight to the fucking rental car place, get my rental car. And keep it fucking pimping, you know, easier than going through fucking customs and having your fucking passport, pulling out your passport every two seconds. It's three in the morning, or almost three in the morning, and I'm tired as fuck, so I'm going to get myself together and go to sleep. The next morning. Rich Risings, y'all. I like to say Rich Risings because if you woke up this morning and you got a body and your spirit's still in your body, you rich. And that's on period. First of all, you know, my original trip was to Amsterdam. So I literally only packed like winter shit. All I got is coats and fucking beanies and long sleeve shit. I'm gonna have to go find some, um, Summer clothes because it's 80 degrees outside. Number two, I don't know what the fuck is going on out there, but uh, why is it flooding here? What is happening? Child, I'm gonna go to the mall and get a few um, outfits that are not gonna burn me the fuck up while I'm here. Then I'm gonna go to the beach while it's still not, you know, rainy. And then when it starts raining, I'm just going to come back here and um, do some work. I'm scared. Can I drive through that? I don't know about that, honey. 
This is crazy. So apparently the lagoon overflowed or some shit. Yeah, I'm definitely not going that way, bitch, bye. That's crazy. Okay. Whew. I made it to the mall. I'm not gonna get mad at the Puerto Rican drivers in Orlando anymore because I get it. They drive crazy here. There was a guy riding a bicycle in the middle of the fucking interstate against traffic. Yeah, you heard what I said. All right, I'll find a couple of things. Um, you know, I'm just like, fuck it. I'm gonna just wing it for the rest of it. But I found a local spot, a local Puerto Rican spot, so I'm about to go get some lunch. This is coconut ginger drink for me. This shit's so damn good. I don't know if it got liquor in it or not, but I sure feel good. I'm right, about to smash Man. Oh my god. That food was bomb. It was the fact that I was drinking drinks that I didn't know had alcohol in it for me. And I'm a, um, I'm slightly buzzed. It's a little rainy today, but we're gonna make the best of this shit. Not me going out the country and it is raining every day. What the fuck, bitch? I gotta stay home for this shit. Okay, so I don't know what was in those fucking cocoa ginger drinks that I didn't even know had liquor in it, but that shit snuck up on me and I ended up going to sleep for like three hours. I ended up getting up doing a little bit of work and um, I'm hungry now. I think I'm in Old San Juan to find some food and I had a craving for Chinese food and I found this Chinese place that got really good reviews, so. <laughs> Can I get something to drink? Yeah. Uh, do the oh, good choice. Personal plate. Have you ever had the sauce before? Yeah. So we do it a little different here, but I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Okay. So the next day. What's up, y'all? Another rainy day. No beach today. But what I am going to do is go horseback riding. I found a horseback riding um, that goes through the forest, that uh, walks through the forest. And I think like being on a horse, walking through nature would be really healing for me. So that's what I'm going to do today. Hopefully it's not raining so I can uh, vlog it or whatever. I just made it here. Just in time. That shit, that was a crazy ass traffic. It was doing construction, it was an accident. Like, God damn. But I'm here and I smell them stank ass horses. The horseback riding? Yes, let me help you. Uh, yeah, I booked for 3.30 for the hour in the jungle. Perfect, what's your name? Justin. <laughs> hey, Percy. You over it, he over it. Ready to ride the horse. Right on the right here. There you go. She got attitude. Listen, she not fucking with me. Okay, alright, alright, boo. Am I holding her right? A little bit, look. Okay. What am I supposed to do when she stops? <laughs> she keep doing whatever the fuck she want to do. I'm trying to get her together. My horse definitely was doing whatever the fuck he wanted to do. It took me a minute because I'm a little bit nervous. Well, I was a little bit nervous of horses, but you really gotta connect with them. Like they have their own little personalities. My horse had attitude. Like, I'm just gonna be real. She had a whole attitude, but you know, <laughs> definitely was a reflection of me. My horse was just like me. Wanted to do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. Like, whenever I told him to do some shit, it caught an attitude and was kicking and fucking biting at my feet and shit, giving attitude about everything. That's definitely me.
Later that same evening. I love keeping going through the motions since I got to Puerto Rico. I don't know, I guess maybe my body realized like, oh, he's not going to work, he's not busy, so let's let's get him to deal with shit. Last night, I ended up like going to bed at like, I don't know, like 10 o'clock or some shit like that. I woke up and like my heart chakra was on one. The vibes of my heart chakra were like going crazy. So I'm like, okay, something's going on. Let me take some time and actually meditate on it so i went back to sleep and um i started feeling like all this sadness and i'm like yo what the fuck is wrong with me like i'm in puerto rico like i should be happy and i should be excited just like partying and having a good time i did like the first day or so but i realized that i was distracting myself i was pounding in the coffee drinking continuously drinking i realized i'm running from something like i'm running from some type of feeling that's coming up Whatever the fuck is going on, it's like my body's processing it and allowing it to come up and whatever it is, it's in my heart chakra. It's kind of hard, like it's challenging. Like this earth thing is very, very challenging, especially the time we're in because like, we're in this time of like healing, right? And you gotta process these feelings that are coming up. You gotta process some of the shit that happened to you in your childhood. And it's like, we don't have time to fucking process it. We just get up and go to work and you gotta fucking figure out what you gonna eat. It's just so many things that you gotta focus on that you don't have time to really focus on yourself. Dealing with how you feel. And I realized, and on this trip in Puerto Rico, because I'm just chilling, like I don't, I'm not working, I'm not, I don't have any plan and I'm not trying to be on no time limit I'm just going with the flow and a part of this flow is like hey you got some shit you got to deal with in your heart chakra what's up y'all so this is my last full day in the PR yesterday I had acting class that was basically like all day preparing for that and then it was like six hours long so I kind of was in the hotel getting that done so today I'm gonna go out and explore a little bit more. And I saw this place where you make your own perfume and I think I wanna do that, so. Oh my god, you made that? Indeed. Yeah. Like this? Okay! <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 